this morning. Marisol Castro is about three hours north of us in Saratoga Springs, New York. She has more on this crazy record setting weather. Hey, good morning, Marisol. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, everyone at home. Well, it's a right of summer heat and the opening of the Saratoga race course. Now this heat happens to be oppressive and despite all this humidity and heat, these horses are still breezing and they're just getting their light exercise before the big day. And they do this in the absence of any weather breeze, if you can believe it or not. The expected high today, 95. The heat index, 98. Officials here say no matter what, these horses will run. Opening day at America's oldest sporting venue is a summertime ritual. But this year, the heat wave blanketing much of the country could threaten that tradition. Racetrack officials are monitoring conditions and expect the races to go on as planned, despite a predicted heat index of 100 degrees. Races have been postponed only once before due to hot weather during the summer of 2006. All along the East Coast, people trying to enjoy the dog days of summer are feeling the heat. Out an outdoor rock concert in New Jersey, even preventative cooling measures like sprinklers and slip and slides couldn't keep nearly 100 people from being treated for symptoms of heat exhaustion. At least one person was taken to the hospital. In the nation's capital, it felt like 112 degrees Thursday. Paramedics were called to treat at least two people who collapsed on sidewalks around the city. Rescue workers are responding to an increased number of incidents. Last two days alone, we've run over a thousand calls. Across the Potomac River, it's a wonder no one needed to be rescued on this Civil War battlefield in Virginia. Reenactors marched in the sweltering heat dressed in wool uniforms. We were very grateful that we're not wearing those big, thick wool uniforms because this is bad enough. And not even the chilly Atlantic could cool down beachgoers at the Jersey Shore. You just keep sweating. It's really, really hot. Americans trying to enjoy summer are guaranteed one thing. The snow and ice are never too far away. Some cool weather would be most appreciated, but ask me again in February, and I think I'll be sick of winter at that point. Oh, the grass is always greener. On the other side, of course, we could use some cooler temperatures. We will be covering all things equine and heat this morning, and coming up, I'll tell you a little bit more about the national outlook. Back to Rebecca in a very cool studio. I know. Don't be City. jealous, Marisol. We appreciate everything you're doing for us out there this morning.